dressed up in Hardwood Classic. From Sacramento, star of the hit NBC TV series, Ed, Tom Cavanaugh. From the Sacramento Monarch, Tisha Penichero. The first player from the Soviet Union to sign an NBA contract from the Sacramento Kings, Sarunas Marshallonis. And from Turkey and also the Sacramento Kings, Hido Turkoglu. Representing Los Angeles, multi-platinum singer-songwriter-producer, Brian McKnight. The MVP of the 2001 WNBA champion, Los Angeles Sparks, Lisa Leslie. One of the 50 greatest players in NBA history, five-time champion with the LA Lakers, Urban Magic Johnson. And for the 2001 NBA champion, Los Angeles Lakers, multi-talented actor, comedian, and a Texan native, Jamie Foxx. From the four-time WNBA champion, Houston Thomas, Tina Thompson. A member of two consecutive NBA champion, Houston Rocket team, NBA legend, and TNT host, Kenny the Jet Smith. And from the Houston Rockets, and also a Philly native, Casino Mobley. And finally, the Philadelphia team. From the Platinum Stallion Supergroup in sync, Justin Timberlake. From the Charlotte Sting, and head coach of women's basketball, Temple University, Don Staley. From the 1983 NBA champion, Philadelphia 76ers, Hall of Famer, Moses Malone. And from the 2001 Eastern Conference champion, Philadelphia 76ers, Harry. I detect a serious home court edge for the Philadelphia side. They'll play game one against Kenny Smith and the Houston representative when we come back on TNT. All-Star Saturday Night is brought to you by GMC. From professional-grade people come professional-grade trucks. By America's dairy farmers and milk processors. Got milk? And by the Fannie Mae Foundation, showing America a new way home. All-Star Saturday night here on TNT. Three hours worth with the competition set to begin just moments from now here at the First Union Center with 989 Sports All-Star. Hoop it up as they play three on three. Ernie Johnson back at you from the First Union Center where I am joined courtside by Danny Ainge. And Danny, here we go with a new event. We haven't seen anything like this yet and, and one of our own, Kenny Smith, being involved in this thing. What well, is your early take? Well, first of all, Kenny snubbed me and Charles because we were going to play on a team together with Cheryl Miller, but I guess he has a little more confidence in Tina and Katina Mobley. That's disturbing. I know. I'm a little frustrated with that. News I was like ready. I was getting in shape. I was ready to go. I know Charles isn't in shape yet. But I know. News like that being revealed on the game <laughs> night is uh, very tough to take. Meantime, let's look one more time at the rosters for these teams. And in the first game, it's going to be Houston taking on Philadelphia, which is going to be a going to be a tough chore for Kenny Smith and company because uh, the Philadelphia side obviously has a home court edge, and Sacramento will be taking on Los Angeles 
just a bit later. We do have rules in this three-on-three. Eight-minute game. The clock runs continuously until the last minute of play. There is a 16-second shot clock. Substitutions only during a stoppage in play. Got to take it back beyond the three-point line, and that will be enforced. And the official ball is the Spalding Infusion. Meantime, Charles Barkley making the rounds here at the First Union Center. Charles, what's your early uh, early take with, with Kenny? Does he look prepared to you? Well, I just want to see if Kenny going to talk all the trash he was talking on the drive over about how good his team was. Well, you want to repeat what you said on the ride over? Well, uh, you know, I, I would rather probably play when it take all. I think Catino's ready, Tina's ready, and Jamie's the secret weapon, so we're ready. Yeah, secret weapons always good when they're secret, but you said that Jamie couldn't play a lick on the way over. <laughs> well, that was on the way over until I actually got a chance to see him. Now I'm ready. We're ready. We're going to take this. Let's, be, let's go and get our paper. All right. Thank good, you, Charles. Good luck. Thanks, Charles and Kenny. And uh, Charles trying to start a little, a little something, a little dissension on that team. And, and who's going to get the ball first? We'll find out right now as Justin Timberlake shoots for possession. He was in sync. Now, he gets to decide if you want the ball to start the game or if you want to go on defense because if the game goes to overtime, Danny, it's sudden death. And so the team that starts on defense will get the ball first in overtime. Well, you can't plan for overtime, or you got to take the ball first, don't you? You would think that that, uh, that would be the case. Here are the lineups. Katino Mobley, Tina Thompson, Kenny Smith, and Jamie Foxx for Houston. Eric Snow, Dawn Staley, Moses Malone, and Justin Timberlake for Philadelphia. Justin Timberlake's shot looked pretty good right there. He certainly possibly earned himself a, a start, and, and he did. So it's going to be Timberlake, Eric Snow, and, and Moses Malone in there. Tina Thompson, Kenny Smith, and Katino Mobley. And Kenny will have to pass in from the three-point arc. That's the rule. Otherwise, he would shoot it. <laughs> well, it's, you know, it's going to come down to shooting, I think. I think they're going to try to obviously take Katino out of the game, and Kenny's going to have to make those outside shots. And who's going to guard Moses Malone? Uh, Tina Thompson has drawn the unenviable task at this point. And as expected, Moses with the lightning quick first step. I think Kenny was kind of hoping that Moses would take that matchup a little lightly, but uh, Moses wants to win. He's on his home court. Tina Thompson. Kept alive by Smith and the cat, but Tino Mobley is... Houston can't buy one early. Here's Timberlake working on Kenny Smith, who will never. <laughs> Kenny, Kenny! Oh, Kenny's got to play better defense than that. He got beat really bad by Justin. Oh, obviously rattling the chest. Kenny. Houston trying to get on the board. Kenny Tina Thompson. Kenny got scored on by Justin Timberlake. Yes, he did. And now Eric Snow, wide open. Will he take it? And the route is on for Philadelphia. <laughs> See, Justin Timberlake looks pretty good out hey, there. Jamie. He's locked Kenny oh, up so far, and he scored on him. Jamie, what do you see going on out there? Well, what I see is a lack of concentration. What I see is a lack of inspiration. What I see is a lack of self-esteem when you let Justin Timberlake face you like that. But you see, I'm on the bench. That may change soon. I think y'all need to get Kenny out the game. Oh. 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 That looks like some other chicken to me. <laughs> Do that. The chicken gets Houston on the board. If Kenny wouldn't have made that shot, it definitely would have had to have a timeout right there. I'm sure Jamie Foxx would have been jumping off the bench. What? <laughs> oh, that's just that ain't. We ignore him, too. Timberlake for three. Not going to go this time, but Big Mo. Oh, you can't hack a legend like that. Right away. You can't hack the legend. No easy hoops inside. 8-2. Philadelphia with the lead. Good defensive switch right here, I think. Moses already has four rebounds. Houston collapsing. Hey, y'all got to quit hitting on Moses like that. 
Moses looking up at the clock, see how much time, see when that mandatory timeout's coming. <laughs> Timberlake for three, and that's going to come up short. Now, Justin told me his game was patterned a little bit more after John Stockton. By looking at his shot attempts out there, he looks more like Steve Nash. <laughs> He hasn't thought about the pass at this point, and Eric Snow is off. Go to the line! Three! For three, baby! Come on! Catino Mobley cuts the lead in half. And there, thankfully, is the mandatory under five minute timeout. Both sides appreciative of that. Charles, what's the mood in the Houston uh, huddle over there? Hey, Kenny, Kenny. Kenny, what's Catino? What's going on out there? What's going on? Uh, right now, you know, we're a little cold. A couple of shots, you know, didn't fall. They try to bogart us. We try to get our rhythm back. We'll be all right. Why is Jamie Foxx not in the game? Well, he's coming in right now. Jamie coming in right now. See, when he come in. I hope he's coming in for thing. Kenny. I've never been traded on a three-on-three -three contest before, but I might get to trade. Tina. You're the second best player on the team out there after Catino. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you keep up the good work, but you can't help. Quit following Moses like that. You got to come harder than that. <laughs> I'll tell you what was going on out there. Justin Timberlake is using and abusing your partner in the studio, Kenny Smith. I, didn't, I, I have nothing to do with whatever y'all are talking about right now. I just... Just running around the court like a chicken with my head cut off. Hey, we see you on Inside the NBA with your group doing highlights and also doing commercials, but I think you just made it with your play out here. I scored once. That's all I need. Now you play for Philly. They're not going to let you lose here. There you go. Kenny. Dawn Staley has checked into the lineup for the Sixers. Oh, and look at this. Right off the bench, Eric Snow. And a good pass by Don Staley. Don Staley, one of the great women players. She is the core player for the World Championship Games this summer. Well, if we saw what Philadelphia did in that timeout, they drew that one up, and it was easy. Jamie Fox for three. Moses is just cleaning the glass now. Now he's got five fours. guard Moses one-on-one -on -one right there, but, you know, Catino should not be able to be guarded either. He should be able to score. Catino blew it by Moses. Oh, my God. You know, Catino, you know, Tina's one of those new power forwards. She's not like Charles, you know, just back it down, back it down. She's versatile. She can take out the shot from the outside, or she can beat big guys off the dribble like she just did. And she was backing up her tough talk during that last timeout. There's Moses again. Don Staley. And Houston now with a chance to cut into that six-point deficit. Tina Thompson again. That's a different game. You know, shooting that NBA three-pointer is a little different than the WNBA and with a bigger ball. But uh, Tina, you can see, has a great stroke. She's a huge reason why they got those uh, four championship rings. And it's a huge reason they're in the game right now. Moses with Catino Mobley contesting every shot. Boy, that is a tough matchup for anybody in this field. I think Magic can match him. I think Magic can get in there and keep Moses from getting those easy buckets. Oh, man! Oh. How smooth was that? 14 to 6. Moses is taking this serious. He's here to win. He's not here just to put on a show. Half dozen rebounds, half dozen points from Malone. the way some of the centers are playing in the league right now, Ernie, I think I'd take Moses. <laughs> the clock continues to run. It, it will stop in the last minute of this game, and it's 14 to 6. Really. I think we need to see the Jet back in the game right now. They need some desperate threes, and uh, Kenny can make about three in a row, get them back in. They need to call a timeout and get Kenny in the game. Jamie Fox from way out here. 
and the Houston field goal percentage continues to plummet. Don Staley's got some room. Too strong. Jamie, go ahead, Jamie. Jamie's not playing winning, but used to playing winning basketball. He played on a team in Dallas, and he was the star, so averaged 15 points a game, never won a game in high school. 1-12 to go, and the clock running. 22nd time out, 16 to 6 games. Houston, 3 out of 13 from the floor. You know what? They took it inside. They just got beat down low every time. Man, I'm going to take this a uh, couple of minutes to talk to Eric Snow. Eric, well, you're doing a great job of getting the ball inside to Moses. Is that, was that your advantage coming into the game? I mean, some of the best centers that have played the game can guard Moses, so why not give him the ball? Well, you don't think Coutinho Mobile can guard Moses? No, he can't guard him. Keep up the good work. Hey, Jesse, you got to go. It's all the nice <laughs> With 107 to play in this game, Houston down by 10 and in desperate need of some long-range action from guys like Kenny Smith. Well, they got to get some steals, too, because they can just run the clock down and a 16-second shot clock. But there's a quick one, 16-8, and the clock will start stopping after made baskets now inside a minute. Timberlake shakes free. And it's Houston ball. Uh, this right there. Well, Patino needs to shoot a three right now. They don't even have time for four possessions. It's too late to shoot twos. There's some con some concern on spacing it on this trip in the half court. Ill advised behind the back. They keep Houston in this thing. 35.8 to play. Look at Kenny get up right there. No, he does more than shoot threes. He battles on the boards as well. 25.9. You know, Kenny's one of the few guys that are, that are great three-point shooters to be in the dunk contest as well. Yeah, yeah. Showing a little hop. Flashback. Kenny for three. Oh, yeah. Ah. Kenny is one out of six. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is... I think the home court had something to do with that victory right there. I don't know if uh, you could have played this on a parking lot anywhere. I don't know if the result would have been different. 16 to 8, Philadelphia over Houston in game one of 989 Sports All-Star. Poof it up. And so Philadelphia advances to the final to meet the winner of our next game between Sacramento and Los Angeles. Moses Malone had six points and nine rebounds for Philadelphia. Uh, <laughs> let's check in with Craig Smith. Yeah, well, a great job by Philadelphia, but what a great team. The celebrity hits the shot for possession to start it off. You got Don Staley, coach of Temple. You got a Hall of Famer in Moses Malone. And then you have a, Eric Snow from the great home team advantage. Justin, this team was in sync. Hey, man. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard a lot about great high school players out of Memphis, but I never remember hearing your name. What kind of high school career did you have? Well, we just said, you know, if we couldn't win, we just going to hurt them real bad. And we started making our shots, so we didn't have to worry about it. Obviously, this means a lot to the fans here. You can tell by the way uh, they booed Derek Fisher when his name was introduced. <laughs> what does it mean to your team? Uh, we're just happy to be here. The fans of Philadelphia are great. Uh, we, we don't, you know... It's not a, a knock on Derek. It's not Derek as a person. It's just a team. Well, Derek's got that ring, which is what Moses also has, a ring. But you look a little tired, Big Fella. Well, you know, they're working hard down there, you know. <laughs> I got about three or four people from my arm. And I can't get to the free throw. So they work me like a, I'm in NBA. Well, it's a half-court game. You got another half in you in the championship game? Oh, we're looking for it, you know. You know, they have four to the one, but now we like two to one. Uh, you know, we got a good team. So, you know, I'm just waiting for a big guy now to really get me. 
Well, Coach, your team was great in the semifinals here. What do you think you have to improve on in the final? You've been released. You got to keep giving it to the big man. I predicted he would take us to the promised land, so here we are. Well, you're the point guard. Justin told us he modeled his game after John Stockton, but it looked like, as Danny Ainge said, he was shooting but more like Steve Nash. Is he hogging the ball? He is. He is. He's our X Factor. <laughs> All right, see you in the finals. Back 30. Thank you, Craig. And the, uh, the good news for Moses Malone, who looks uh, up a little bit winded, is that the finals don't come up until after the, uh, the shootout. He's got some time to rest. Recuperation is crucial tonight. We'll be back with game two. We welcome you back to Philadelphia, the first Union Center, which saw the absolute dismantling of the Houston team led by Kenny Smith and Catino Mobley by the homestanding Philadelphia team. Now we've got Sacramento taking on Los Angeles in game two. The winner advances to the finals to meet Philadelphia. Magic Johnson uh, leads the L.A. contingent and he's with Charles Barkley. You know, everybody, people don't realize this. Magic Johnson had his team in here practicing at 9 o'clock this morning. Uh, because uh, I never played in this building before. <laughs> Are you taking this really serious? I mean, your team looks pretty good on paper. Uh, would you be disappointed if y'all didn't win? Uh, very, because you'll talk about me real bad on TNT. I don't talk bad about people unless they deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? That's right. Okay, I'm going to remember that, okay? Good luck. Thank you, Charlie. Yeah, Magic Charles has a very strict standards for, for ripping anybody. Here is Brian McKnight of Los Angeles shooting for possession. I'm, I mean to tell you, he and Justin Timberlake just bottomed those things out like there's nothing to it. So L.A. has the decision. And uh, as Danny said, you can't plan on overtime, so you expect him to take the ball. Oh, Hito, yeah. Hito Turkoglu. Tisha Penichero, Sharunas Marshallonis, Tom Cavanaugh, Ed of uh, TV fame, and Derek Fisher, Lisa Leslie, Magic, and Brian McKnight for L.A. Well, Brian told me his game was all athleticism when he was a young player, but he broke his ankle not too long ago, and he had to become a good shooter. But he actually plays on the L.A. Summer League on the team, and, and uh, he plays, he's going to play on a traveling team going to China. So they have probably the most talented and the athletic celebrity, and they have the best woman basketball player in, in, maybe in the world today, and they have Magic Johnson. It so sounds like Derek Fisher, pressure's on him. It sounds like you like L.A. What's in this one. Well, they got the size, the athleticism, and of course Derek Fisher, one of the, good shoot, uh, the best shooters in the NBA today. So uh, I like the Lakers and the Sixers in the finals, but Magic starting out on the bench, maybe trying to pace himself. Derek Fisher will uh, inbound to start things for L.A. Tito Turgaloo cleans the glass for Sacramento, and there's Sarunas Marshallonis, one of your old contemporaries. And he was a tough guy to guard in his day. Turgaloo takes it strong for the early Sacramento lead and does not make it take it, so. Magic went back in the locker room for something. Maybe he forgot to put his pants underneath his warm-ups or something. Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> understandably nervous as a rookie. Good defense by, we'll just call him Ed, Tom Cavanaugh. Uh, Tom Cavanaugh played basketball in Canada as well and uh, loved the Celtics growing up. Uh, here he is playing against the Lakers. He's open in Kansas. Sacramento out 4 nothing. Tom played five years at Queens College in Canada. Was the sixth man on the team. Played the point guard. He is active out there, is he not? He's hyper. <laughs> Looks a little bit like Robbie Benson in one-on-one. Sharunas -on -one. <laughs> <Charunas> Yeah, <laughs> right well, The Lakers got to get in the game early. They don't want to get too far behind like Houston. Sacramento has a chance to extend that shutout to 6 nothing. Turkaloo. Well, he, he was feeling good. He had a chance to play in the earlier game today, the sophomores versus the freshmen, and so he's all warmed up and feeling good. He'll be shooting threes later tonight. 
And now, Magic has made his first appearance. Admire Tom Cavanaugh for getting in there with Magic to mix it up. L.A. is 0 for 4. L.A. is 1 for 5 as Magic connects. That's a big basket. They need to get in there, but Magic is playing. Looks like he has a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's warm-up pants on. <laughs> He's a little hyper out there. He's wound up. It's an eight-minute game. You can do that. <laughs> he is running laps out there. He looks like Steve Nash out there, too. Another Canadian point guard, except Steve usually has the ball in his hand. Good substitution right here, though. Tisha, Tisha Penichero. Yeah, Tisha's kind of like the Magic Johnson of the WNBA. She's a six-foot point guard and, and uh, plays a lot like Jason Kidd. You know, really good penetrator, uh, good assist, good rebounder, good defender. Led the uh, WNBA in assists. And another Sacramento turnover. And with that, we have a timeout. And let us check in with uh, our roving reporter, Craig Sager. Well, thank you, Jan. Back here, where we have a new concept in the slam dunk contest coming up later. It's called the wheel, where the players are competing tonight will spin the wheel, and they'll have to duplicate one of the dunks from previous years. So they could get the 80s, the same as Terrence Stansberry's Statue of Liberty. Mystery dunks. They may have to duplicate Vince Carter's great dunk in 2000. 90s, it could be Kobe Bryant, the one between the legs when he had the great dunk, or also human highlights film all the great dunks of Dominique Wilkins. His airness, of course, Michael Jordan, or Dr. J Classics, the man, the original slam dunk champion, Julius Zerbing. So it's a new concept, a little more excitement to our slam dunk contest. EJ? We will look forward to that, obviously, Craig, later on in the evening here at the First Union Center. Magic Johnson and the L.A. team here in the three-on-three -three taking on Sacramento. And after a 6-0 Sacramento lead, L.A. is in position to tie or take the lead with a three. Brian McKnight looking for Magic. And they have uh, turned it over now in consecutive trips at the Sacramento and L.A. teams. Good game right here. I'm really looking forward to that wheel dunk, though. That should be fun. It is. It's fun stuff. We'll, uh, we'll enjoy that later. Good to see some of those dunks again. Marshall Ellis with the layup. And it's 8-4. to four. Don't feel bad, Lisa. That's happened to me many times. <laughs> And Lisa Leslie with the immediate answer. It's a two-point game. The Runas thinks they're playing make it, take it. He wanted the ball back. Forgot to play defense. 4-3. The Runas has been coaching basketball over in Lithuania. Continues to do his coaching and do clinics. Has not been playing a lot of basketball, but what you can shoot, you never lose it. Ryan McKnight connects. They got rid of that weak Lee Spencer. They're making it run. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got a pretty athletic team. Why, you know, as, he, as he drives to the hole is Marshall Lotus, but again, L.A. Mr. Lester got to look at the sky report. You can't let can that pull it within one. And a foul inside on Hito Turgaloo. You don't shoot him until you get your fifth foul there. Oh, he's just going to get razzed a little bit by his teammates in Sacramento if he lets Lisa score on down low. That's going to post him up, especially. Hey, Fish, go over that scouting report. Good job, Lisa. Derek Fisher has checked back in and immediately off the mark. Sacramento took the early lead and has not given it up. To tie it. My good deed by Tisha Penichero. She's a really exciting player. You know, it's hard to watch them in the three on three when they're playing against the bigger guys, but uh, she's a very, very special player. Marshall Lonis buries it. 
Bruno's doing a nice job. He's really shooting the ball well. He's really thrived under Don Nelson's system. A lot like we see Nash and Levitsky and Finley doing now. How many times have we seen Magic do that? It's 13 to 10. Magic learned that shot from Kareem. And, you know, why do guys not shoot that anymore? You always wonder why big guys don't just practice that shot. It's such an unguardable shot. Derek Fisher hit a wet spot on the floor, and Sacramento took advantage. Now Magic inside, quickly. Under two minutes to go. Oh, what a feed to Turner. Pinachero, the number one player in assists in the WNBA with a beautiful feed. 17 to 10, and they're 8 for 11, Sacramento. right there. They can use the climb, but now the clock will stop at least. Oh. I didn't hear that, Lisa. Must have called it 20 to 13. They need some more threes. You know, Magic knows the score. You know, we saw in Houston, they didn't really react to the score early enough when they got behind. You can see Magic trying to set up Fisher for the three-pointer. I don't think anybody's ever played the game that knew the score and knew the situation more than Magic on the court. Under 45 seconds to play and a nine-point lead that just became 12. Well, Sarunas is really feeling it. We saw the size dominate the first game, and now uh, Sarunas is really knocking that outside shot. That was Houston's only hope. You know, Kenny couldn't make those outside shots. We see Sarunas knocking them down with regularity. Oh, thanks for reminding me. I forgot. <laughs> All knocked away. And with 24 seconds to go, it's a... A matter of time now for Sacramento to advance to the final. Marshall Onis has 15 in this game. A bit of struggle from the outside. It'll be interesting in the finals. Can Turkoglu keep Moses off the boards and scoring inside? And can they continue to shoot the ball as well from the outside? One more time for good measure. <laughs> And Sacramento, with a resounding win over Los Angeles, advances to the finals of 989 Sports All-Star. Keep it up to take on Philadelphia. Let us go to uh, Greg Sager, Greg. Well, the mighty Los Angeles Lakers team out here practicing at 9 o'clock this morning, dethroned by the Sacramento team. That is actually a team of four players from international countries. Tom Cavanaugh, how much practice did you guys have? We went out last night all together and tried to bond as a team first um, at the bars uh, in town as opposed to actually getting on the court. We felt that would be the better way to go against this uh, incredible L.A. team. You grew up in Canada. I thought everybody played hockey there. What did you feel like growing up playing basketball? If you manage to control yourself on the ice, uh, bouncing a basketball, you have a chance to do it on the hardwood. <laughs> well, this crowd was rooting for you guys to defeat L.A., beat L.A., beat L.A., but now you have to go against Philadelphia. Yeah, the home team. Uh, we just hope they'll be gentle on us. Well, you're the people's choice, but I don't think you will be today. <laughs> Thanks, Craig. Ernie? Thank you, Craig. And in the, uh, in the finals, it'll be the inside dominating presence of Moses Malone in Philadelphia against the outside touch of Sharunas. Marshall Onis, 15 points, including three three-pointers. That comes your way later tonight here on TNT. But up next, more music. Recognize those guys? I do. Hall & Oates, next. Well, uh...